Hello IT comrades, welcome back to another one. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get ahead of 99% of developers. Yes, you heard me right. How is that possible? Step one, learn what DevOps is and why it matters. DevOps is a set of practices that aims to improve the collaboration and communication between development and operation teams and also involves automating and streamlining the software delivery process. From coding to testing to deployment and to monitoring, DevOps helps you create faster, more reliable, and more secure software. Sounds awesome, right? Step two is to specialize if you want to stand out as a DevOps engineer. You need to master one or more of the following skills. Cloud computing. You need to know how to use cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud to host and to scale your application. You also need to know how to use cloud services like storage, databases, networking, security, etc. Configuration management. You need to know how to automate the configuration maintenance of your servers and applications. You also need to know how to use tools like Ansible, Chef, Puppet, or Terraform to manage your infrastructure as called. Continuous integration and continuous delivery. You need to know how to set up and use tools like Jenkins, Travis CI, or GitHub to automate the building, testing, and deploying of your code. You also need to know how to use tools like Docker, Kubernetes, and deploy your application and containers. Monitoring and logging. You need to know how to monitor the performance, availability, and the health of your application and infrastructure. You also need to know tools like Prometheus, Grafana, or ELK Stake to collect, analyze, and visualize your metrics and logs. Staying current, the ever-evolving industry. Step three is to stay current if you want to be a DevOps engineer. You constantly need to be on top of what's going on in the industry. You need to know latest trends, best practices, and innovations. You need to learn new skills and tools. You need to be curious and adaptable. Some of the way you can stay current, reading blogs, newsletters, podcasts, and books about DevOps and related topics. Taking online courses, certifications, or boot camps to learn new skills or refresh your knowledge. Joining online communities, forums, or meetups to network and exchange ideas with other DevOps professionals. Portfolio management. If you want to land DevOps jobs or advance your career, you need to have a portfolio that demonstrates your skills and experience. Your portfolio should include a resume that highlights your education, work history, skills, and achievements. A LinkedIn profile that showcases your professional brand, network, and endorsement. A GitHub profile that displays your code, projects, and contributions. A website or blog that features your portfolio. Step 5 is the time management. Time is crucial skill for any developer, but especially for a DevOps engineer. As a DevOps engineer, you have to juggle multiple tasks, projects, and deadlines. You have to work with different teams, tools, and environments. You have to deal with unexpected issues, changes, and requests. To manage your time effectively, you need to plan your work and set realistic goals and priorities. Break down your task into smaller and manageable chunks. Use tools like calendars, timers, or trackers to organize and track your work. Avoid distraction and procrastination and focus on the most important and urgent tasks. Delegate or outsource tasks that are not within your core competencies or interests. Step 6 is business knowledge. As a DevOps engineer, you're not just a coder, you're also a problem solver. You need to understand the business context and goals of your projects. You need to align your work with the customer needs and expectations. You need to deliver solutions that are not only functional but also profitable, scalable, and sustainable. To improve your business knowledge, you need to learn the basics of business, concepts, model, and strategies. Understand the market, industries, and competitors of your projects. Communicate and collaborate with stakeholders, users, and customers of your project. Measure and optimize the performance, quality, and impact of your projects. Seek feedback and improvement opportunities of your projects. Soft skill. The human element, now speaking of business knowledge, I wouldn't be taking my own advice if I didn't share my new DevOps course. The main goal of this course is to actually help you land a DevOps job. That's how the course is designed from a very beginning and is meant to do this as quickly as possible without leaving any gaps in your knowledge. But that's not all. This course will also help you develop the soft skills that are essential for a DevOps engineer. Soft skills are the interpersonal skills that enables you to work effectively with others such as communication, teamwork, leadership, problem solving, and emotional intelligence. These skills are often overlooked and underestimated, but they can make a huge difference in your career.
They can help you build trust and influence with your colleagues. They can help you resolve conflicts, overcome challenges and achieve goals. They can help you grow, learn and enjoy your work. So if you're interested in becoming a DevOps engineer or if you want to take DevOps skills to the next level, I highly recommend you to check out It's called Software DevOps Engineering and it's available on Course Career, the best online platform to help you break into tech and get a job. Course Careers will provide you with personalized coaching, mentorship, networking, and job placement opportunities. You'll also get access to exclusive courses, projects, and challenges that will boost your skills and portfolio. And the best part is you'll have a great discount by using my referral link. Let me tell you one more thing. Course Careers is completely risk-free and outcome-based. So what are you waiting for? Just click the link in the description. I'll catch you in the next one.